You have to understand, prayer is not only communion. Prayer is not only uh, for declarations. Prayer, and this is something that I realized very recently, prayer is a system. And it's when you use and apply that system, it transports you into different levels of the spirit realm. If, you want to, if you're serious about breaking through and breaking into the realms of the spirit, you have to understand that this is a system and you have to apply that. And when you're working on it, it's not going to be easy on your flesh. That's the reason why people who move in the power of the Holy Spirit spend a lot of time in prayer because it enables them to penetrate certain realms. And you cannot function in the fullness of what God has called you if you don't break through those realms. There was this um, house for rent. And uh, people would go in and pay the rent. And before the month, the, mo uh, the month would end, they would leave, losing all their deposit for three months or whatever that was. And so this man went and he said, uh, is it available? They said, yes. And when they asked him what the price was, it was very little. And he said, my God, it's so cheap. Let me go ahead and pay for two years. He went and paid for two years. What he did not realize was everybody was running away from that place because the place was haunted. So in the nights, they would have experiences of the demonic and the witches coming and working and doing all kinds of nonsense. So they, they ran for their life. But this gentleman, when he came in and he began to see things happen in the realm of the spirit, he said, I'm going to pray. And he would pray sometimes all night. And just praying in tongues, just praying in tongues, just praying in tongues. There is tremendous power. It's not only to receive power, it's actually to ascend into the realms of the spirit. That's something you need to understand. So when, you know, it's when you're going to the top of the mountain, the view from the top of the mountain is awesome. But when you're going up, it's laborious. It's very hard on you. And, but when you get there, it's awesome. So you have to understand there's a price you have to pay to get to the top. So this, guy, this man went on praying and went on praying and suddenly one day he was not sleeping, he was praying because he, he observed the, the demonic and suddenly a witch appeared and the witch appeared and began to speak and he said, I strike you with blindness. And that was it. Two days later somebody came to him from, neighboring, uh, from the neighborhood and they said, you know, there's an old lady just behind your flat who went blind two days ago. And that was, this was a place where witches were using to come together and have a meeting in the nights. From that day, he was, that place was cleansed. What I'm saying is no matter what problem you're facing, for which you do not have an answer, remember God has an answer. But how do you access that answer? How do you access? Because these treasures are hidden. These answers are not easily available. That's why we need to persist in prayer. You have to learn to stay put in His presence alone. Sometimes shut the door for a few hours. You get tired, sit down, read the Bible. Start praying again. Read the Bible. Start praying again. Maybe you can play some instrumental music that will soothe your soul or give you that atmosphere. But it's extremely important if you are serious about any... Now listen, I'm not talking about just success in the world. You will have success no matter what the calling of God upon your life is. But with, with His favor upon you, it'll take you much further than what your natural abilities can take you to. No matter how high and how greatly 
Daniel was positioned, he never neglected prayer. Most of us, when we get busy in our daily jobs or works or profession or business, we forget to pray. Or we reduce the amount of time we spend in, with God and in prayer. So it's not healthy for us. Because remember, it's a spiritual battle. Do you understand? It's a spiritual battle. Stop blaming people. Stop blaming circumstances. Start praying. Now the reason I get you to pray here is not to let you know that's enough. I'm starting the motor. I'm helping you get started. So when you get back, you don't stop, but you continue to pray. Every problem has a solution in the Lord. Then why is it that we're not able to get a resolution for that? We're not getting an answer. Is because we're not serious enough to pursue God in prayer. So we need to learn to spend time in His presence praying. Knowing this, it may be boring, it may be meaningless to my mind, it may be, apparently seem like I'm wasting time. But what my mind does not understand is this is a spiritual operation. And it demands my time to pray in the Spirit. Are you with me this morning? Why don't you open your mouths and begin to pray right now? Prepare your hearts, because I don't want us to just sing a nice, slow worship song. It's not for us. We want to enter into the realms. We want to enter and draw closer to God. Come on. Oh God, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh God, hallelujah. Oh God. Ludina Manda Bradina Makata Bashaka Baba Baba Baba. Oh God, hallelujah. Oh Lord, hallelujah.